In today's video, I'm going to break down some of my tips and strategies for winning more games in Madden 18. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and in today's video, I have a subject that I really want to talk to you about. I think it's going to help you win more games in Madden 18, and the basic premise of this is the idea of systems. And I talk a lot about systems and different things that I think you should put in place that's going to help you uh, win more games in Madden. But one of the things that I think a lot of people don't think about when it comes to systems is why they're there in the first place. So one of the things that I've been able to do in the last couple of in the last couple of weeks is develop a really really solid um, couple of tips or so that can really help you in terms of your defensive play calling. So this is this seems to be a real struggle for a lot of people, especially for me uh, when I first started playing. Was was what do you call? How do you know what to call? What is the chess match? You know, a lot of people talk about that playing chess dot checkers. And here's what I basically want to talk about. So, the field, if you if you will, the the the, the football playing field is 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 about from about the twenty yard line to the to the twenty yard, or to the uh, end zone. So that's about eighty yards. So you have about eighty yards. And what you have to ask yourself in this year's game and really every year's game is what does the coverages do? So for example. Um, you know that when you call cover two, the only thing that's really open is the deep middle, the deep, deep middle. So we're talking like post routes, uh, that kind of thing. The There's not a whole lot of like really big time openings. Like right there, right there. That's the opening against cover two, that that deep, deep middle. As you can see there, uh, the defense collapsed on it. We made a play. Um, but that's, that's the opening against cover two is that deep, deep seam uh, throw right there. Okay, and, and again, there's other routes that actually work a little bit better, a little bit harder to cover. You have that. That's the one That's one thing you have. The other thing that you have against cover two that most people don't know about, or they don't know about, or they don't exploit it, in my opinion, enough, is the is, ba is a play called Steelers Cross. So if, you, if you've ever seen me play with the Pittsburgh Steelers playbook, which is the first ebook that I wrote on, there's a play in that five wide receiver set. And I didn't break it down at the time because I didn't know it was going to be this powerful. But it's called Steelers Cross, and and the core uh, ish, uh, the core of what it does is it takes a wide receiver. Let's try to find a play here. I'm in the Giants, so I might not be able to find a play. But if you go to empty, you might find it here. But it's like this smash play with the post routes of the crossing. But what they do is they cross, and there's two of them on both sides. And so what ends up happening is it creates a problem because they run outside streaks, so they run the deep blues off, and they can throw them into, like, the curl flats area. Basically, uh, like, if you were looking at my screen here, uh, it basically would end where that corner route to Chris Hogan is. So so it's kind of similar to a corner, but because it's a crossing route, the, 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 the flat doesn't cover it as well, okay? So because we know that that's, that's a problem against cover two, what you have to do is you have to figure out, you know, what do you do to combat it? So... The combat or the play that the, the coverage that works probably the best against, in my opinion, is man to man. Another another coverage you could do though is you could run the cover three um, because if they if they don't have time to hit it, like if you had a cover three blitz and they didn't have time to hit it, you're going to be fine. Um, and then there's like a cover. I think cover four does pretty good. Okay, but the the core is that, is that basically you have to get out of cover two. So you have to get out of cover two to stop this specific play. What I want to tell, what I want to suggest to you, is is the key to your defensive success is knowing when to flip that trigger. And I, I'm suggesting that part of it is obviously the game. Uh, you know, how do you, you know, how do you decipher? But one of the things that I want to leave you with, guys, before I leave today, is something to consider. Is you want to call that play around the 50 yard line, 40 yard line mark. 50, 40 yard line mark is when you want to switch it up. So you want to want to go cover two, cover two, and eventually they'll get the ball to the 50, to the 40. Once they get to about the 40 yard line and in, that's when you want to start really shrinking, uh, shrinking that zone, shrinking your playbook, and really starting to make some adjustments. Because what's going to happen is you'll end up getting a lot more interceptions in that in that realm of the in that realm of the field because of the depth of the corners the corners are going to play up a little bit more they don't know have to they don't have to play deep to short anymore because you're running out of physical space there's not enough room for them to throw a deep streak they can't throw a deep streak inside the 40 yard line 
So what you can do, and this makes your defense so much, so, so much better, is you can call the cover three hard flat, and those deep blues will come down on those on the Steeler cross. So again, just some things that you want to think about. But I would suggest the core concept I want you to take away is I want you to walk away with this. Whenever the whenever the ball crosses about the 40 yard line, that's when the that's when your defense really can start playing a little bit more up in their face, and you don't have to worry so much about the deep deep play. The only route that you really have to worry about inside the 30 yard line uh, is the post route. So you can mainly take that away with your middle linebacker because like I suggest all the time is to use her the middle linebacker. Anyways, guys, hope this video helped you. Uh, I think this is really a big video for defense if you're really trying to look to improve that. So thanks for